Oh yeah. I was here a few weeks ago after a rain and the fishing was awesome. The water's not up as much as it was then, but we did have some rain. Got some ducks and geese and stuff in here. Let's go see what we can catch. Man, there's a, so much bait fish in here. Or like, not bait fish, but just tiny fish. Look like, there's just tons and tons of just little bitty tiny fish. Different species looks like. Oh, look at all that. Yeah, just, wow. What are those? Those look like bluegill. Just little bitty bluegill. Oh, it's real shallower here too. Oh, whoa. something big just swam across there. Man, there's so many little, oh yeah. There's some little bitty bass. Oh yeah, I see them. They're at the top of the water right there. Little bitty bass swimming around with all these, and a bunch of little bitty sunfish. I don't know why, I fear the bass might hit this thing, but they're not. Oh, oh that one did, yeah. They're just too small. I think like we're gonna just go do some exploring. Let me just try to walk downstream. All right, the mouth of that creek's right over there. I, I walked down here one time in the winter and all this was frozen. <laughs> but uh, here, all this will be underwater in a uh, month maybe. They'll raise the water level. So this may be something really deep that I can walk down here while it's spring. Hmm. Where y'all at? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, something else jumped over there. What is that? Oh, it's a little bass. Okay. This is a good sign. Look at this channel. We got all this and then the river's right there. So I feel like there could be anything right through here. A little large mouth. First catch today. I'm trying to carry two rods. I was trying to decide what to do. So I bring one rod, two rods, and I was like, well, I want to be able to cast a couple different lures. Oh yeah, I saw the swirl on that one. Over there too close to you. Oh, nice. Not a bad bass. He swirled on that thing and just ate it. He's sitting in the current. Just I'm sure they're just in here looking to feed like um because this is just the, like a small creek would be. Alright, we got a little bit to go and right at the river, so anything could through be through here. That's a 12, 13 inch probably right there. Trying to decide what rot, what lure to throw. Well, it doesn't look like it's that deep coming into the river. So I'm not sure how many fish will be up here. Well, there's a good one. That's a good fish, I think. Not bad. Yeah, actually not bad at all. Got a little mud on him. It's all right. Yeah, he's probably about 14 inch, but he's just getting thick. Thank you. That was on a chatterbait. I'm gonna have to lay this rod down. We're gonna have to fish one at a time. It's hard to hold one. I didn't bring a backpack or anything. I should have brought a couple extra 
I got, oh, something just swirled right there. All right, we're gonna go to the chatterbait, see what we can catch, fish the river and then the mouth, and then uh, we'll probably go to this a little bit later. Oh man, there could be some vast. This spot could be loaded up. The way the, there's a swirl, a little bit of murky water coming in. I don't know if it is or not, but it could be. Oh, maybe it is, I don't know. A good one too. Really solid. <laughs> that was funny. I think that boat was gonna come here. I just happened to be walking up right when he came up here. Not bad. It's a good thing I got here <laughs> just when I did. I mean, he can go find all kinds of other spots. There's probably several other places, but apparently he was gonna, it looked like he was gonna pull up right here and he saw me and he just moved on. So I'm glad he didn't try to fish here. And let me have this little spot. That's a good bass right there. Oh, about to sink in. I can't, can't get too close to the water. I'm in this mud. All right, yeah. I thought there'd be some fish and I think there will be several here. We got a creek with a little bit of flow, a little bit of murky water flowing into the river. That was right there. They're moving all around. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Holy cow, what did I just hook? I don't know what this is. It's fighting weird. I really can't tell. Maybe it's a big white bass. Is it a... Is it a large mouth? It's just really strong. Yes, it is. Man, I thought he was something else. He would take off. Not bad at all. I thought he was going to be bigger than that, but he was strong. Look how long he is. Got on a new lure that someone sent to me. Tennessee Custom Tackle makes these. Look at it. It's like a, it's got the pink and yellow that I like to use. Yeah, check out that hair jig, one eighth ounce. First time using it, got me a good bass. I'll leave a link to the guy that makes these. You can order them, he sends them out, he makes them himself. Yeah, he's probably 15 inches, he's long. Yeah. Nice. Ah, first fish I think I've ever caught on a hair jig. Well, let's walk back to the truck, maybe go to a gas station. And then um, I got a couple of places I might swing by. After a couple of chicken tenders, I um, went to another creek here that's real similar to the creek I was just at, except I've never gone all the way down it when the water's low. So I don't really know if I can get down there. If I can, it could be really good. Man, I may have picked the wrong way to go about getting over there. What if I should go back? I think I need to go back and try to cross over there because it gets, it looks softer and softer that way. Let me go back a little ways. Hey. Wow. This stuff is tough to walk on. Oh, let's get stuck. Huh. I see the river. Looks like a lot of really wet, muddy ground. 
Oh man. I think I could get close to it over here. Oh man, I'm tired. Oh, I'm not ready for this. I gotta get back in shape. Well, there's a guy standing where I want to be. How'd he get there? Look at this spot. I was planning on getting down on the bank. Looks a little wet, but I think I can still fish off of it. I can fish the mouth of this creek coming into the river. Oh, 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 oh yeah, there's a fish. What is it, what is it? Oh my, nice large mouth. Oh yes. Oh, that's probably, uh, you know, I've been casting for about 10 minutes. Oh, I barely got him. This is the Booyah Melee bladed jig. Chunky. About a 15 inch thick large mouth. I was kind of expecting some white bass to be here, but I will take these guys. I think I'll pale. He's in this uh, muddy water right here. Gotten pale. Nice fish. Dude, he is, he is thick. All right. Nice. That's kind of stuff I will take. Oh, 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 or something else. They're not hitting it really hard. Just kind of, boom, on there. Oh, that's uh, about 12, 13 inch large mouth. <laughs> that was only like four or five casts after that first fish, so. All right, this is gonna be our probably last spot today, but I made a drive over one more area. I fished here probably a month ago caught a bunch of panfish and some bass the water's even lower than it was then so we're gonna go down this corner <laughs> try to catch some more fish there's a fish there's one feels pretty good stop wasn't gonna hurt you think nice bass nice yeah they're getting active these shallow areas feeding good fish right there got some bumps on him or something it was weird Hey, that's not a bad one. All right, that was probably worth the 30 minute drive over here.
Oh man, that one hit it. It was like a thump thump. That one, is that a bigger fish? Feels really good. He's a pretty good, that's a pretty good fish. I think he's a little bigger than the last one. Oh, dude, there was another one with it. There was another big one with it. Wow, this is a nice bass. And I'm pretty sure I saw one that was bigger with it. They must have been fighting over it. Holy cow. That's a good fish. That's a 17, 18 inch, at least two pounder. Man. They must be out here moving around the shallow water, eating stuff. Dude, what a, that's a good fish right there. Oh, all right. Dude, I saw another one hit at it, and I think he was huge. Oh, oh, right there. Dude. He hit it right as I'm about to pull it out of the water. He just stopped it. I, I thought I hit a hit the bank. Man, another good one. If this was a tournament day, I would be thrilled. But I feel like I catch them better off the bank sometimes than I do off the kayak. Another, that's a good 15, 16 inch. That's three really good fish in about 15 minutes right here. I'm glad to see them getting active and aggressive. Sometimes bank fishing, I like it when they're shallow and you can drive to spots and just, you know, hop out and fish them. But then there's kayaking lets you get to more areas but it's harder to kind of jump around where if you just want to drive around to different spots that you know where little creek mouths are sometimes it's depends on the area there could be some fish all out there that i'm not getting but i've stopped at a couple spots today the first spot and then this spot both have um had quality bass this one was a half ounce Evo chatterbait with a hog farmer trailer. It's pretty heavy, but I can cast it pretty far. I like how you can really chuck it out there. It sinks pretty quick though. I'm trying not to reel it too fast, kind of reel it, pause it, give it some twitches. Oh. Noisy geese, of course. Well, it's no secret that creek mouths, you know, feeding into a lake, river, just feeding into a bigger body of water is gonna naturally uh, hold fish and bring fish in. I don't know every reason. I mean, first off, there's current, and of course there's stuff flowing in. Think of think of little uh, little bitty specks of little bitty, you know, food flowing in for a little bait fish. Those bait fish are gonna get eaten by the bigger fish. Those fish are gonna get eaten by bigger fish. Um, so it's a big cycle. Also, the temperature could be warmer. Um, you know, it's just a, a change up, but especially after a rain, that's always a great time. I feel like probably the best time to hit some of these little streams that flow in cause they could be pump, pumping in warm water or just pumping in murky water. Um, you know, and just lets all the, all nature do its job. So I'm going to go, I got one more spot and we've got some pretty good fish and really I've caught them all really quick. Um, when I got to those, uh, those Creek mouths. So let's try, um, let's try here. There's fish. There we go. Come here. No, oh, we ain't that big. And bluegill. I threw a, the chatterbait and had a couple little bass, like hit it, but I didn't land anything. So I figure I go with just the ultralight and boom, see what's over here. Oh yeah. I knew there's fish in here. 
figured they were just smaller. Nice, big yeah. That spot I fished earlier, I caught those three really good bass, and I, get, I couldn't get any bites from panfish or bluegill. Oh, oh, we got here. Come here. Ain't another little bluegill. Another bluegill. Yeah, another bluegill. There's a lot of bluegill out here. Oh, <laughs> I was reeling in. This little bass came and just ate it. Nice little largemouth. I thought I saw a bunch of little largemouth in here. Here we go. I can't really think of a better place to catch fish a variety of fish, big fish, just a <clears throat> easy place to bank fish and catch a lot of fish other than like a spillway. And that's what these creeks are. They're like little micro spillways. Some of the bigger creeks are bigger spillways. And after rain, it's like a whole new thing that comes in a lot of times. Now, a couple of the creeks I fished in this video were muddy and a couple of the creeks were kind of clear, but there's still water flowing in. And those bass are, I guess, pre-spawn. They're, you know, they're eating. They're aggressive. They were eating a chatterbait. Um, that's pretty aggressive. Now that it's March and it's spring's coming, uh, at least here in Tennessee, we might still get some more cold weather, but the fish are acting like it's spring right now. Um, if you have some creek spots or some bank spots where some water's coming in, I definitely would hit it. And other than that, I wouldn't even be fishing here today because I, I was planning on going kayaking, but we had a lot of rain, had like an inch and a half of rain. So that messed up my kayak trip and made me switch and come do something else. And I ended up catching some pretty good fish. So I drove around, I probably drove a couple hours to get to all the spots that I fished, but, and then I walked a lot to get to some of the areas. Thanks so much for watching. And um, hopefully the fishing just keeps on getting better as um, we kind of start getting further and further into spring.